the State of the Union speech set for tonight. All eyes are on President Biden to hear his message this evening. So in just a few hours, President Biden will deliver his first State of the Union address. We expect his speech to cover domestic issues like inflation and gas prices, but it could also be a symbolic moment for democracy as the world watches the Russia-Ukraine situation. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp is live at the U.S. Capitol. Rachel, you've talked with a handful of congressional members about tonight. What do you expect to hear from the president? Well, Mike, it just depends on who you talk to here. Democrats are expecting uh, President Biden to talk about his Build Back Better legislation, which, in, which would invest in things like climate change, child care, and expand health care. But some Republicans are hoping that Biden takes this speech as an opportunity to uh, basically talk about making America more energy independent. And we're seeing the results of that, and pandering to the, uh, the environmentalists. Uh, now we're not energy independent anymore, and we're dependent on countries like Russia, you're sending billions of dollars to Russia while they are slaughtering thousands of people in the Ukraine. That makes no sense to me. Congressman Tom Reed says he's been disappointed in Biden because during Biden's campaign, uh, Biden promised to be a pragmatic leader. And Reed says instead Biden has been pandering to the extreme left. But I also spoke with Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand today. She was not critical of the president, but instead she's expecting him to lay out his agenda on how America can recover from the pandemic. Also discuss his massive infrastructure bill that passed Congress a couple months ago. And of course, she's hoping he'll talk about paid family leave. We also can't ignore the clear need for better care infrastructure in the country. I hear that the president will be using his speech tonight to call on Congress to finally pass comprehensive paid leave. I will continue to fight for my bill, the Family Act, so that no one is ever again forced to choose between caring for themselves or a loved one and their paycheck. We expect President Biden to talk about U.S. foreign policy and of course the Russia's Ukraine situation. Back to you. All right, thanks, Rachel. The president is expected to give his speech around 9 p.m. tonight.